So here we have the BMW 116D Sport on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you'll see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Okay, so we're just going to make our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through those controls. But now that we've done a full circuit of the car, you can see that it's in wonderful condition the whole way round. Just briefly before climbing in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. These seats are in fantastic condition. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the right-hand side, we've got the rev counter, and on the left-hand side, We've got the speedometer and fuel gauge. You can see in the middle, the total miles for this car are 7,272. The information that's displayed above that on the trip computer can be changed by pushing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of fuel economy information, uh, eventually back round to the beginning again. We're back out to the steering wheel. On the left-hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And on the right-hand side, we have stereo controls, as well as the ability to answer phone calls and use voice activation to make phone calls. So if you would hit that button and ask it to dial any one of your contacts list, it will do that for you without you having to take your phone from your bag or pocket. That is of course once you paired up the phone and that is done on the central screen up here. Uh, you can see this car has got satellite navigation. Uh, there's a full video showing how that works on our website and on our Facebook page. It's well worth checking those videos out if you have a chance. Uh, over to the left hand side here, we have another screen and obviously all these movements that I'm making uh, you can see it's not touchscreen. They're all being done using the iDrive system just here. So this dial will take us through the various options. We can select things. This moves to the right, to the left, up and down as well. Uh, so for example, uh, if I press the main menu button, we come back up here, we're now on the main menu. So twisting that will bring up these options as say, if we want radio, we push that button down and you can see the different types of radio that are available on this car. Press menu again, we can go up to multimedia, push the button down. We've got a CD player on this car, and we get the ability to plug in a device via auxiliary, USB, and we can connect up a phone via Bluetooth audio and listen to music that way as well. Um, I say, connecting your phone is done under the telephone menu just there. Working our way down, we have the CD player, and then the air conditioning. So select the temperature you want, the fan speed up and down from here, once you're happy with that, you can determine where within the car you'd like the air to blow. When that light is on, the air conditioning is on, so it's on at the moment, or you can turn it off again. You can, if you wish to, hit that button. The car will take control of the fan speed itself to maintain the temperature that you've selected over here. Um, press auto again to go back to the setting you were previously on. We then have a 12 volt charging socket and a couple of cup holders, a six speed manual gearbox, Next to which you have a few options in terms of the way you can uh, set up the way this car drives. So you can turn off traction control with that button. Uh, the car is in what's known as comfort mode at the moment, or normal if you like. Uh, you can put it in sport mode by pushing that button down like that. You can go back to comfort mode. Any mode you're on will show up on the screen, or you can put it in Eco Pro. Uh, for example, in this sport mode, uh, it'll make the uh, steering firmer the accelerator pedal will react a bit faster to what you do, so the whole car will just feel a bit stiffer and a little bit quicker. Uh, and Eco Pro is almost, I suppose, the exact opposite, you'd say, of sport mode, so a lot better for uh, traffic driving. For regular driving, you have the comfort mode. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.